Yo, 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 friends, welcome back to the channel. Nice to review here, back at it again with another action figure review. Today, we're going to be jumping right back into the Marvel Legends line, and uh, as you can already see, we're going to be doing the, the, the actually uh, a, a rivalry that's been happening since forever. Uh, I remember these guys way back in the 90s uh, Wolverine and Sabretooth from the X Men. And this is a part of the Apocalypse Build a Figure Wave, which I can't wait to finish. And uh, yeah, uh, so uh, taking a look uh, to the left side, we have our Wolverine in his yellow tiger striped suit. I'm really, I'm really digging the blue shoulder pads on this side. Uh, not too much accessories going on, as you can see, he only comes with uh, Apocalypse tentacles. And uh, on this side, we have a uh, saber tooth, one of his uh, arch nemesis since uh, forever. These guys have been going at it since uh, since I was a little kid. Uh, I remember my, uh, my my older brothers reading the comics and watching the cartoons, and these two were kind of at each other's throats. And uh, yeah, th these guys are just really memorable from my 90s childhood. And uh, Sabretooth, uh, I'm really excited about this figure right here. I can't wait to open him because it's going to be awesome. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, just get this uh, packaging out of the way so we can start this review. So on both sides of the packaging, you're going to get this artwork of Wolverine and Sabretooth. Pretty sick looking artwork. I really do like the yellow tint to it. Pretty sweet uh, Wolverine Sabretooth. I really do like it. Here is the back of the packaging with their respective uh, product shots and uh, their bios, which I'll get to in a second. But as you can see, Wolverine is uh, figure number one and Sabretooth is figure number four. Get all seven, then you can build up your apocalypse. Can't wait for that to happen. Here's a quick read-up if you want to go ahead and pause it now, do so. And here's a quick read-up of uh, Sabretooth's bio or whatever, so go ahead and pause it and read it now. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get on with this review. Boom! Here they are, out of the packaging, looking pretty damn sweet. I'm really loving these pieces. And uh, just to, uh, just a little bonus, I got them in a pretty cool pose because I have that, uh, that stand that came with my Sora figure from a few weeks back. So that's pretty cool. I'm really glad to have these two pieces. I'm so glad and uh, my brothers are so jelly and it's just awesome. It's pretty awesome. So uh, with that being said, let's uh, get on with uh, the review with uh, Wolverine and then we'll get on with uh, Sabretooth. Alright guys, we're going to be starting off with James Howlett, aka Logan, aka the Wolverine. So the Wolverine has been my favorite character since, uh, geez, I can remember. I've liked, uh, he was my favorite X-Men until, uh, I started liking, uh, Cyclops a few years ago. Really want to get my, uh, hands on, uh, the Jim Lee Cyclops, but, uh, here is our Wolverine, looking pretty sick. Now, we've seen this bald body mold before with the brown-suited, uh, Wolverine, but, uh, there's, a there's a few additions, like the head sculpt is entirely new, and the, uh, the arms are a bit new with the sculpted, uh, hairlines. I wish they painted those black, but, uh, you know, I guess that's okay. Um, it's not too much of a nitpick for me. Uh, so the articulation in this is just crazy. He's got some butterfly joints going on. Uh, articulation in the waist. He can, uh, look up and down quite, uh, quite well. And, uh, yeah, the movement in this guy is just, uh, pretty good. Uh, like any other Marvel Legend. I really like the way Marvel Legends articulate. As you can see, he's got some, uh, the, the rim of his boots are painted black. He's got, uh, some peg holes in the bottom of his feet, which I forgot to mention. So that's pretty cool. I really do like that. So if we can just uh, stand him up pretty good here, we will see just how uh, high he stands off the ground. If I put his legs straight, he kind of uh, he kind of he slanted towards one side, and I, I really don't like that. That's the one thing of this figure I don't like. So I have to kind of uh, spread his legs a little bit just to keep him even. So that's a little bothersome, but other than that, this is a great piece. I really do love this figure, and uh, we're just going to get the uh, measuring tape out here and uh, see how much this guy's... Uh... So as you can see, he stands about uh, six, 6 inches, so that's uh, pretty good. I really do like that. A little under 6 inches, 6 inches around there. And uh, yeah, he's a pretty good figure. I really do like it. He comes with uh, some clawed hands, as you can see before. i uh, got to fix those. I really do gotta fix those. They're a bit flimsy, but I really do like those. And uh, he comes with the uh, <clears throat> the the tentacles that uh, a part of Apocalypse. Can't wait to get that guy. So uh, with that out of the way, let's uh, go ahead and um, do some figure comparisons to the other Wolverine, I guess. Okay, here's just a quick figure comparison to the uh, 
the brown suited wolver uh, wolverine um, and you can see some differences here as uh, the brown wolverine doesn't have these uh, cool shoulder pads right here and uh, <clears throat> the belt uh, the belts are just a little bit different as this one's a, a bit wider and this one's just a bit thinner and um, oh yeah the head pieces <clears throat> as you can see the uh, the ear pieces I'm just gonna call them ear pieces um, as you can see they're a bit more wider than this one as you can, yeah there we go so that's pretty cool I really do like these Wolverines uh, but I'll probably have uh, this one on display now because I've had this brown one on display for quite some time so I, I'm not I probably won't put him away I'll probably just have him displayed somewhere else um, I'm not sure yet mine's not made up all right all right guys this is the one this is the figure we've been waiting for Sabretooth now this guy is a quite tall figure I'm quite pleased on how this figure turned out the articulation is so smooth he didn't really come with any accessories all at all but um, he didn't really need to um, with that being said he does come with uh, the right arm of uh, apocalypse so that's uh, that's pretty cool I can't wait to finish him and uh, yeah let's just take a closer look at this guy he's wow the articulation in this is so smooth. I thought there'd be like clipping in here at all, but there's not really any clipping. So, wow, pretty good. I'm really do liking the articulation in this guy. And the paint apps are just as great. Looks like he just popped out of the 90s TV show. I really do like that. That's that's sweet, sweet stuff. Oh, almost got him to fall over there. Um, so there, I don't, I can't really catch any nitpicks with this guy. I, I, I love him. He's a good piece. And I'm just throwing him around like that. Shame on me. Shame on me. Okay, so like I said, the articulation in this guy is amazing. You got uh, four points of articulation in each arm, five points of articulation in each leg, two points of articulation in the torso area and the waist area, and then one point of articulation in the neck. So that's pretty good. You can get him in so many good poses. Uh, he, uh, he does uh, have some uh, weight to him. Not too much, just a little bit. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's just kind of stand him right next to Wolverine. And you can see the size comparison between these two figures. And it's, it's, I think it's quite accurate, you guys. I'm loving this. I'm loving these two together. I'm going to have them in some dynamic poses, and I can't wait for that. So uh, let's, get him into, uh, let's get him into uh, some uh, quick uh, figure comparisons with other tall uh, Marvel Legends I own. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here is uh, Sabretooth right next to the MCU Thanos, and uh, I'm liking the size comparison here. He's right up to his shoulders. Pretty good. And here is Sabretooth right next to the MCU Cull Obsidian. Here is Sabretooth right next to Gladiator Hulk from the Thor MCU Reg Thor Ragnarok. My bad. And last but not least, here is Sabretooth right next to the Mandarin. All right, you guys, that does it for this review. If you guys liked it, please subscribe. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment if you will. You guys know the drill. I am out of here. Peace out.